Does the king know about Gwendol? That he's alive? The king doesn't talk to us. You would not lie to me, would you? <laughs> we are helping her, aren't we? Nicehell's always judging Herthias, calling us names, but Smeagol bears it. What would he gain from finding nasty Riddlemaster? Gwyndo, you can say his name. <laughs> Careful! There's a stream winding down from the southern mountains, a cold and unkind creek that rushes along the western borders of our realm. That is where we created the Ring of Haze, the Riddle Master, his scholars, and I. There at the creek, beyond an old bell tower, we closed the final breach, and I lost the light of my eyes. However, Gwendol left a spell to open it again. For if, at any time, it might please us to leave unnoticed, how oh, it what pleases, pleases me now. now. And this breach? Yes, I can open it, Smeagol. But I will need your eyes. I trust you. Smeagol has good sharp eyes. Poor elf, always alone in the dark, but Smeagol cares. That is nice of you. And I shall thank you. Deagle. Who is Deagle? Deagle. 
Deagle? You can tell, you can me. tell me. How does it know about Deagle? Overheard some bits and pieces while there was a question. He died, I heard him say. By your hands. Lies! The wizard was lying! We swear! Drowned! Drowned in the river! Deagle was long times ago! Was he your friend? Our only friend! But Smeagol doesn't remember his face anymore. I am so sorry. Little grotto, we're here. Well done. Now take Gwendol's shell and put it under your tongue. You will breathe underwater like a fish. The fish doesn't breathe. Alive without breath, as cold as death. Only a children's song. Breathe like a fish.
sings. Up, up.
Yes, that's it. Just like the ones at her door. Now free the she-elf and get it out, out of our head. First, we must get out of these rooms. We found it. See? I believed in you. You're like Beren, stealing the gem from the enemy's crown. Though, I'm no Luthien and Beren had a pleasant voice. Come back down here. What's going on? What's going on? Therefore, I tell you, I don't know. And what I don't know, I cannot tell. I know you well enough to doubt that, my old friend. My king, if you knew me well enough, you would never doubt me. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. <gasps> Did you hear that? Wyan? No, thank you. <laughs> what do we do? Hide until they leave. We can talk candidly now. No more eluding my questions. I must know. And I'm telling you that I cannot tell you what I don't know. <laughs> Another excuse. I'd call it a fact. So then you would not mind if I had that creature drowned in the river? I would mind. And I need you to trust me. Maybe I would, if you'd stop being vague. Hello. Aragorn, the greatest hunter of all, so they say, travels a thousand miles to catch a creature that may best be described as odd. A creature the Dark Lord himself has touched and tortured. Oh, don't act surprised, my friend. I sensed his craving in him, his obsession. And now, Gandalf the Grey makes his rare visit to my realm. Now I wonder why. What secret does this creature hold? What knowledge? I have long had dreams. Dreams that warn me of a weapon. One that the Dark Lord craves. <laughs> Your silence tells me that I'm right. I would hide it in my vault, Gandalf, behind my magic doors. Keep it safe. Keep what safe? Don't treat me like one of your dwarf friends. I would never use it, of course. Whatever it is, just keep it. Keep it hidden. Keep what hidden? Do you doubt our strength? My borders are safer now than those of Lorien. Your haze, you mean? Yes. I felt its powers when I entered. Beg your pardon, my king, but your realm is an island in darkness, and your crown is made of leaves. It was here in Mirkwood where it took shape again. Sauron's shadow. Don't utter his name. Oh, where I shall it? utter it freely now. Sauron. Hmm. The Dark Lord, growing in power right on your doorstep. And you didn't see. The White Council freed Mirkwood from a necromancer. Not King Thranduil and his people. The White Council. It was my people who bled thousands of years ago on the hills of the Moranon. You don't teach history to me, wizard. I don't need your wisdom to find the truth. Are you done, my king? I am! You can go back to your dwarves now. You're throwing me out. I never asked you to come here. Did I? Fear not. 
We will take good care of your prisoner. I hope you will see more clearly one day. Our fate may depend on it. I prefer. And yet we are destined to never find ease. Like autumn dwindling and falling from shade to shade. Guards! God! My king! He's here! Bring him back here to me. But do not harm him. Yes, my king. We are destined to never find ease. Like autumn dwindling and falling from shade to shade. Longing for the shores of Valinor until our thoughts become dim and our stars mere remembrance of silent bliss. God! Hello, God! My king! He's here! Bring him back here to me! Smeagol! Do not come! Yes, my king. I'll go tell the others.
Don't try that again. Go tell the others. No, nasty elves. Don't try that again.
as fast. He's crossing <clears throat> the river. Who's that? It's me. It's me. It's just me. Nell, the king, he knows. He, he knows. Stop. Stop. Stop hissing. Where are you? Talk to me. Faces. There are faces. They stare at us. Don't be scared. They won't harm you. This is the path of our ancestors. The departed members of our 
king's valley. Each candle burns for a soul that is left. Never to return. return. Do me a favor, will you? When he must have put his face up there too. Do you see it? No. Don't look at us. Go sleep. Please. Please. Can you try? Face looks like the one in the Vittle Master's rooms. You found him. That's good. Now put, now put out, out the lights. lights. Why us? Smeagol doesn't want to be here. But Smeagol has promised to help, hasn't he? Yes, he has. These lights belong to the dead. And Gwendol is alive. Is he not? Just a nasty light. Nothing happens. Did you put it out? Out, yes. Cruel light. It can't haunt us anymore. Thank you, Smeagol. We're at the gate. More elves down there. It will lead you back inside, Strange. And he didn't say anything before he left. No, and we dared not ask. He was seething. They don't know we're here. Well, wizards, what did I tell you? Not to meddle in their affairs, yes, but neither. I've never seen Gandalf like that before. I can hear him breathe.
inside. Don't celebrate yet. They're already looking for you. Be vigilant. He's cunning. Indeed, and craftier than he looks. Secret path. Come here. Where now? Shh. Well, let's just see. Lamon. Mel? He was right here, tried to open my door. Are you sure it was him? Unless a squirrel called himself my precious. Where'd he go? Let me think. Did I see him? Oh, alas, I am blind. Down to the river. Shh, keep your head down. They're gone. Lead me down to the river. But that's where the elves went. I said I know a secret path. Never said it would be easy. Come, take our hand. Don't touch me. I can follow your breath. How does it move, the blind one? How does it know where to put its feet? Moths. They whisper me the way. The elves are mocking us again. I'm sorry. It's a bad habit. to follow good old Smeagol. Search the water too. He's a good swimmer. Shh, quiet. To the waterfall. Can you hear it? We hear the river. Just go down, further down. Careful, flow is not even. There's a waterfall ahead. That's the one. What's it doing? Listening to the river. Secret path. Must show us secret paths. Shh. Go ahead. To the waterfall. I'll be right behind you. They're already there. No path there. Can't go up the water now, can we? Not up. What's it doing? Shh. Huh? No. Shh. Get 
get inside. The elf is doing witchcraft. Hold your breath. The river can be fickle. But for now, he's willing to let us pass. Milk touches the water and the water goes away. Good, good. It didn't tumble. The elf with pale eyes. How does it move so well, we wonders? The stones guide me. The wind, the water, the moss. Love the moss. And still, there is a little hint of light, fleeting like old memories. Memories are nice. We don't want them, do we, love? Why? Memories are all I have. Smeagol, my friend. We've made it. Friend. Come. Let us follow the sun. The elves won't get anything from him. Torture barely made him talk. And the elves have no heart for torture. Thy confidence could be mistimed, dear friend. The old Greybeard has entered the woodland realm no more than two weeks ago. The wizard? How do you know? <laughs> they may call us the mouth of Sauron, but we do have eyes and ears. The Grey Beggar might suspect something. Join Marhok's men in Dol Guldur. Free the creature. Bring it back. Kill it, if need be. This is a death sentence. Only if one dies. We'll strike in Gondor as well. Provide a diversion. An open attack? There will be war. It's too soon. Let the enemy find what our Lord desires, and the war will end too soon as well. Thy daughter will join thee. Seize this opportunity. All I wish for thee is to redeem thyself. I will. Yes, we are. Come, come. Smiggle helps. Leading Mel into filthy woods very selflessly, yes. Take our hand. Who did you say, Sir Gwendol? Grimaces are wasted on me, you know. Yes, some elf. Some elf. Some elf, Jade. 
all look the same to us. Poor elf, no shining eyes, takes Smeagol's hand. What's this? Uh, precious? Eh? What is it? Are you looking at my ring? Is it nice? Yes? Is it powerful? Is it precious? <laughs> It's not a magic ring, but Gwendol made it for me. I had tried to make him one just like it. Not my best work. It never quite fit, so he wore it on a chain around his neck. Uh, careful here, lots of nasty roots.